Today is actually February the 7th, 2024, and I am in my RV in Ironwood National Monument in Arizona. It's a very rainy day today, so I decided to paint. Well, it must be raining way over there because there's a rainbow over those mountains. I'm painting this box of candy for Valentine's. And hopefully I'll have this up before then. And maybe you could paint one and put it on a card to give to your Valentine. And I'm going to show you my finished product. To show you how to paint it right after this. Well, I'm off on another adventure, I'm calling this Desert 2024. Just me and Snickers. Okay, Snickers, here we go. We go bye bye. Dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds up high I can touch a stream of gold above actual picture of the candy in the box and this was my drawing for the painting. The paper I am using is Canson XL watercolor paper that is 140 pounds 9 by 12. I am using Fumui brushes that I got on Amazon, a pink eraser, a uh, number two pencil, and this is a number six brush. The next brush is a number two brush. And the smallest brush is a double, triple O brush, very fine. My paints are Daniel Smith paints and I'm using this little plastic palette. This is raw sienna is the first color. Burnt Sienna, a little darker brown. Cadmium Red. Alirazarin Crimson. And Indigo. I'm also going to use some of Dr. P.H. Barton's white ink for some highlights. I've taped down the paper with uh, masking tape and this is the box that I got the candy in. Of course the candy is gone and I'm taking my pencil and I'm just going to trace around the box. Now if you didn't have a box to trace around any uh, pattern of a heart would work. I can barely see my tracing, it's very light. This is the inside of the box where the shapes were, where the candies were in. And there's a heart, a rectangle, a square, and a circle. So you can kind of look at your tracing and estimate where those shapes would be in the heart. Now I'm going to attempt to draw in uh, those shapes in my heart. Please don't be too concerned if they're not perfect. 
just draw them in so you get the idea of what the shape is going to be and when you fill it in with paint then you can do more detail. Once you have the basic shape then draw another shape around the main shape. This gives you a framing of the shape where your highlights and shading are going to be. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just gives you an idea of where you're going to place the paint. This was one of my first drawings and then I went around it with a dark pen so I could use it as a tracing in the future. If you'd like to use the drawing, you could stop and trace it or print it out. After tracing the heart and the shapes, I filled in the shapes with raw sienna. Now I'm going to add burnt sienna to more of the right side of the shapes. And the rectangular piece of candy is actually dark chocolate. So I will be adding some indigo into that one. I'm continuing to add the um, burnt sienna along the right side, as that's the shadow side, and to uh, help it give more detail and more depth along that side. I felt that I had given that a little bit too much uh, darkness, so I am lifting some of the darker paint um, on this particular piece of candy and to um, give it more highlight. To lift paint, you can use clean water on your brush, dab it a little dry, and then paint over what you did, and it will actually lift some of the paint this is called using a thirsty brush. I am trying to save the left side of the candies as a lighter side and will add highlights. Now I'm just using water to help to blend some of the paint so that it looks a little more realistic. Again, using a thirsty brush to remove some of the paint along the left side of the heart for a highlight. Now to let it dry. Now I'm going to add indigo to the right side of the candies for shadowing. I will first outline the side of the heart and then blend in some indigo into the burnt sienna. This adds shadowing and depth. I actually did a thin outline all around the heart and now I am widening 
the area on the right side of the heart for depth. Now I'm adding indigo to the rectangular piece of candy and because this piece is actually dark chocolate I will be putting more indigo inside the candy piece as well as around the candy for depth and texture. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. You get the idea. Now going over to the circle and again outlining it around more the right side but a little bit of thin outline even on the left side. I am still using indigo as my darker color. Most of this painting is done dry on wet, starting with dry paper and then applying the paint. I feel that applying it dry on wet, I have a little more control. Also, when applying it dry on wet, the drying doesn't fade as much as if you did it wet on wet. I continue to blend and lift as I feel I need to to give the piece a texture of chocolate. I'm now changing to my number six brush because I'm going to begin to add the red. Now this is cadmium red. It's the lighter of the two reds that I'm going to use. And I'm going to be putting it around in the heart and around the pieces of candy and blending it in. I'm still applying it uh, wet on dry, so I'm not pre-wetting the paper. I am just wetting my brush uh, to apply paint to it and then apply that right to the paper. I'll do a little speed up on this section too. Fill it all in, go around the pieces of candy, and then go back and reshape the heart. Again, this is cadmium red, which is the lighter of the two reds I'll be using in this painting. Now I'm going to begin using the alizarin crimson and this is a darker red 
painting it along the right side because that is the more shadowed side and to give the art a little depth but I will be applying it on the other side as well or just more Now I'm switching back to my number two and I'm applying the alizarin crimson around the shapes. More on the right side of course because that is the more shadowed space. Now it's time to let it dry. I wanted to show you that I actually did a card uh, with this design on it, including the highlights. I just drew the heart a little smaller and the shapes a little smaller to fit on the card. Now back to our project. Now I'm going to apply Dr. P.H. Martin's white ink to certain areas for the highlights. I'm going to use my triple ut thin line brush for applying this ink uh, and the highlights. just dipped my brush in the water a little bit to help to blend some of that ink into the paint. There it is, a box of candy without calories. I hope you all have a wonderful, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you will try it out. It's not that difficult to do. Just draw a heart with a few shapes in it, use a few colors, shade it, and you've got a box of candy. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when painting a Valentine's box of candy. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.